Keith here with Ask Dad Adventure Disney, episode number 17. I'm so excited to almost make it to 20. I need more questions, and that's going to be up to you guys. At the end of the video, I'm going to give you all the different ways that you can get in touch with me. You can ask your questions that way, and we can continue to have a conversation about all things Disney, just like our new friend Lorraine did. Lorraine sent us in an email and asked, you know, you've been talking about all of your favorite things that you've been doing on your trip, but what Lorraine wants to know is, what are the favorite things of your kids from this last trip? <laughs> Great question, Lorraine. You know, I always talk about what my favorite foods were and my favorite experiences were, but what about the mouths of the kids? What did the kids say? I'll tell you. Now, I have a six-year-old, a four-year-old, and a two-year-old, and I asked them all without even, you know, I didn't give them the book. I didn't give them all the pictures that we took. I didn't do any of that. I just asked them straight off the top of your head, what are your favorite things that we did on our last Disney trip? And you know what? They rattled off all kinds of things. So we went through, we kind of sifted it through, and I'll give you the top three for each kid. So my six-year-old, my six-year-old son, he had three things that he really loved. The first thing, and it was the thing that I kind of knew he would love going in, is he loved the Kilimanjaro Safari over at Animal Kingdom. He loved being able to go on that ride, seeing all the different animals. I mean, elephants and giraffes with their heads coming right into the vehicle and being able to listen to the sounds of the, of the you know, natural sounds that are all around you, being able to see them in their, you know, remade but natural environments, but also to have the safari guides, which as opposed to like the Jungle Cruise, which gives you the really funny um, bits, you know, the dad jokes of it, the safari guides on the Kilimanjaro Safari are telling you the real stuff, the real facts, and he was just soaking all that up. He loved seeing all the animals, the rhinos, the hippos, the flamingos, the lions were out, all of those different things. Big tip for you, Dad Venture Disney tip, if you haven't seen this, go on the safari at Rope Drop at Animal Kingdom. If you've got the little kids with you, forget Flight of Passage, go over through Africa and get on the Kilimanjaro Safari. All the animals are awake the first thing in the morning. All the animals are ready to go out and find their food and you can see sometimes the keepers in there bringing the food out to the different animals. So make sure that you go first thing in the morning. We actually went twice. We got off and went right back on again uh, and be able to ride through it and see all different things, which was really cool. Uh, he loved going to Joy Depot at Galaxy's Edge at the Hollywood Studios. He and I got to spend a little bit of time, just he and I at the Joy Depot and we created a BB unit I mean, the amount of things, the choices that you have are kind of limited, but to him, at five at the time, there was just a world of colors coming through on that conveyor belt. He had to put it all together, we gave it a name, we still drive it all around the house all the time. It was so much fun to be able to build our own droid and totally worth the money, too. Um, and his last thing that he loved is Toy Story Mania, also at Hollywood Studios in Toy Story Land. So Toy Story Mania, if you've never been on it, it's a 3D kind of carnival um, games you know, kind of ride where you go through on your vehicle and you have a little gun. And as opposed to the Buzz Lightyear where you're not really sure where your laser is going, this is very close, very close to be able to know if I point my gun to this certain spot, it's gonna hit that spot and it's gonna be able to ring toss and we'll be able to have little darts that go and hit it and have all those kinds of things, which is really cool. Moving on to my four-year-old. My four-year-old is all about princesses. She thinks she's a princess. She really thinks that the princesses are what Disney is all about and she's not wrong. So the first thing we did is we went on the aerial ride. And we ended up going on the aerial ride five different times. At one point, there was no one else in line in the queue, so they just let us stay on and we rode through it a second time right away, which was really pretty cool. Um, sticking with the princess's theme, she loved meeting them all. We had princess breakfast. I, you guys, if you've been watching our channel, you know that we had princess, bre princess breakfast at Akershus in uh, Norway, but she got to meet uh, Cinderella and Snow White and Aurora and Ariel and Belle. And then we met Vanellope and we met uh, Elena of Avalor and we got to meet um, Rapunzel and we got to meet Anna and Elsa all on this trip. And we got all their autographs um, and we were able to meet them and have pictures with all of them. It was really a cool thing to be able to see all these different princesses and my little princess absolutely adored it. She also loved it that in the parades or anytime that a character would walk by us on the streets with she in her princess gowns, because of course she wore a princess gown to the park every day, they would stop and they would bow or they would curtsy or the other princesses would wave and blow a kiss. Uh, it was really kind of cool the way they treat your little princess there and she totally dug every second of it. The other thing that she really liked was the Disney Junior Dance Party over in Hollywood Studios. It's fantastic. It's just a big open room with a stage and Mickey and the Roaster Racers come out and Timon was coming out to dance and they got videos on the kids and the kids get up and they dance and it's air conditioned, dad, dads, 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 it's air conditioned. 
There's little like comfy seats you can sit in the back while the kids dance are all around in front of you. It's fantastic. It's a great, great break in the middle of the day. That's the uh, Disney Junior Dance Party in Hollywood Studios. Fantastic. And either right before or after you go there when you're waiting in your line to get in there, you can meet uh, Fancy Nancy, you can meet Vampirina, a bunch of other Disney Junior characters right there in that same little area, which is really, really cool. Now, what about the two-year-old? A lot of people think that I shouldn't go to Disney with anyone who's under seven and you're just wrong. But the two-year-old, is there things that came off the top of her head? Absolutely, absolutely they did. One of her favorite things to do was the parade. That's the first thing she said. She loved being able, to, she said, sit on the street and they walk by. And that was the parade. And the parade, you know, it's all about the festival of fantasy and all the princesses are there. Um, I hope that the parades come back sooner. The parks, they're not there right now, but when they will be. My tip to you guys, make sure you're sitting on the shady side of the street. You have to be on the shady side of the street. If you're sitting in the sun, the parade's a little rough for you. But sitting on the shady side of the shady, Wow, try saying that five times fast. The shady side of the street is the way to go <laughs> when you are uh, sitting there watching the parade and having all the characters go by. And of course, Mickey and Minnie, the big mouse himself, coming by at the end was one of her favorite parts of it. She absolutely remembers and loved the cookie, which was the Jack Jack Cookie Num Num, which you can get there in Hollywood Studios. I heard that the spot where you can get it isn't there right now, um, where you have all the um, Pixar characters there just before you turn into Toy Story Land, but hopefully that will be coming back when the parts get more up to full speed. But the Jack Jack Cookie Num Num, we've talked about it before, really dense, thick. It's almost like a small little chocolate chip cookie pie. It's that thick, um, and the whole family can share this one. It was absolutely fantastic, and the two-year-old totally remembered it. The other favorite thing that she did is she loved the frozen ride. She's a little thrill seeker, our little one, and uh, she absolutely loved going on this ride that used to be the Maelstrom over there in Holly in um, Epcot, of course, in the Norway Pavilion. She loved going on that ride and seeing Olaf and Kristoff and Sven and Anna and, of course, the big Elsa scene. Um, and then she loved when the boat would go back and rock. So if you have little ones, please, please know that there is a part where the, the boat goes backwards on a little dive and then forward on a little bit of dive. And they're tiny dives. They're little dips. They're not like Splash Mountain or anything crazy like that. Um, but they're a lot of fun, and you get to experience a lot of your favorite Frozen songs, your Frozen characters. Even the queue is fun to walk through um, and be able to see all the different things that remind you of the movie. And of course, being two, Frozen is all that she knows. She knows Frozen, Frozen 2. She knows everything all about Frozen. And um, so she loved the fact that we did that. And then we came right off of that ride and went right in and met Anna and Elsa. And so that's, of course, one of her sisters' favorite part. You know, So it all starts to blend together with all these kids. It's important that you do and sit with your kids and talk about things before you get there talk with them and set expectations about what's going to be available and what's not going to be available, what they can and can't see and what they might think of their favorite things are. I find that to be imperative to your trip and making it a good time. And then of course, coaxing them in the right direction too, when they may not know it. Um, I know my son was scared to death of going on Pirates, but the little dip in Frozen Ever After made him think that it's not going to be that bad. And we went on Pirates and he ended up loving it. It didn't make his top three, but it was on his list. Um, so that's cool. I want to thank you, Lorraine. Thank you. Thank you so much for asking this question. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you guys want to ask a question, now's the time to get your notepad and figure out how you're going to get in contact with me. You can do it via email, dadventuredisney at gmail.com. Just send off a little quick question to me, send it on its way, and I'll answer it right here the same way that I did for Lorraine. You can find us on social media, at dadventuredisney. You can use hashtag askdadventuredisney and ask your questions through that way. Go ahead and slide into my DMs. That's fine. I'll get back to you, I promise. And then you can also also find our website, dadventuredisney.com. There is a contacts page. It says, say hi, go there and you can fill out your form and send that question to me that way too. I've had a few of these come through that way too, which makes me know you're on the website. And of course, I love every bit about that. So I want to thank you guys for watching. I want to thank Park Hoppa who gave me this hat. I love this hat. I wear this often. You'll see it in a lot of these videos. Go check out Park Hoppa. They're on Instagram. Um, they have an Etsy shop, but check out parkhoppa.com and be able to buy all of the hats that look like this. They have lots of myriads of different colors. I really have a really cool um, wine colored one, which you guys need to check out. It's very, very cool. Park Hoppa, thanks for the hat. Again, thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you all in the parks really soon. Everybody stay safe, stay healthy, and so on.